South Carolina is beautiful, and South Carolina Electric and Gas is working to keep it that way while ensuring a ready supply of electricity for today's needs. We are using new technology in making electricity. We're improving the efficiency of our generating plants, and we're building ahead today to provide electricity for tomorrow. And now, South Carolina Electric and Gas presents the Science Screen Report. The Science Screen Report, developments in science, engineering, and medicine, which help solve the problems of modern life. What will tomorrow's car be like? No one can say precisely. Nevertheless, it is clear that the future car will be shaped by three major challenges. Improving productivity throughout the industry. Developing more fuel efficient engines. And managing the car's environmental impact. This is a report on that ongoing research effort by engineering, science and technology. Science reshapes the future car. The automotive industry faces a major problem in the 1980s how to apply engineering science to better compete in the new global marketplace. New answers include computer-aided design, useful in the downsizing and downweighting of new models. This is a computer representation of a design's natural vibration pattern. Viewing it, designers can modify the structure or other factors to manage such motions. Another tool, thermography, maps patterns of energy transmission, including transmission of mechanical shocks, and so helps designers reduce impact forces in crash. The design prototypes then undergo wind tunnel tests to learn their aerodynamic properties. Drag on a car accounts for one third of its energy use, so any reduction in drag will lead to decreases in fuel consumption. In this case, the design builds up too much turbulence behind the car, slowing it. The design will therefore be modified, rebuilt, and retested in the wind tunnel until the problem is under control. Materials experts are seeking strong, lightweight polymers, heavy-duty plastics for use in car components. In this test material, the thermoplastic polypropylene is combined with tiny graphite fibers for greater strength. In another test, an electron microscope is used to record the structure of a polyester resin, reinforced and lightened by a, a mass of tiny hollow glass bubbles. 
With structure, appearance, and materials set, testing of components can begin. Failures here will lead to redesign and retesting. If the new car has any weaknesses, they must be discovered now. A major problem throughout the industry is metal fatigue. Failures of metal components due to stress. The challenge, to detect signs of potential failure. I think it's time we took some more measurements, Dan. Okay, I'll turn on the voltage to the electron detector. This apparatus may lead to a new solution. It detects electron emissions. Minute amounts of electricity given off by areas showing fatigue. By measuring electron emissions, the instrument can help predict the lifetime of components. Such detectors may someday prove useful throughout the industry. A second challenge to automotive engineers is the need for fuel economy, driving more kilometers per liter of fuel. The familiar spark ignition engine continues to be refined. Combustion physics studies employing laser beams are one approach. The laser provides data on temperatures and atomic and molecular components in the combustion flame, aiding in research towards more complete combustion. Lasers are now a frequently used scientific tool. This laboratory makes its own specialized lasers. Lead, tin, sulfur, selenium, and tellurium are combined. The mixture is then heated until vaporized. Cooling, it condenses into a crystal which will become the energy focusing element of a specialized laser. A stratified charge engine is studied via laser beam and stop motion photography through a quartz window. The stop motion film reveals mixing of fuel spray and air prior to ignition. A stratified or layered fuel air mixture, rich near the spark plug, leaner near the chamber walls, allows use of less fuel per cycle to produce combustion. One promising alternate power plant is the gas turbine engine. Such gas turbines can run on many fuels, kerosene, gasoline, diesel oil, alcohol, gasohol, or others. But because gas turbines run at extremely high temperatures, they call for special heat-resistant materials. Okay, let's light off. Premix flame is a nice uniform blue. It looks very stable, too. Research on electric vehicles employing lithium sulfur cells or nickel oxide cells may someday lead to electric cars with greatly extended ranges. The automobile's environmental effects are a third challenge. In this lab, sophisticated recording instruments map sources of engine noise, a step towards quieter cars. Much current research focuses on engine emissions. Here a diesel engine's emissions are analyzed by our laser optics.
But laboratory studies such as this one of exhaust emissions chemistry are not in themselves sufficient. For instance, conditions in the real atmosphere often vary greatly. For this reason, at locations where environmental problems may exist, field data is collected by experts to add to their understanding of emissions effects. This project focuses on emissions controls for tomorrow's engines using catalytic systems similar to today's catalytic converters. Tests involve an electron energy loss spectrometer, which measures adherence of pollutant molecules to the surface layer of the catalyst. It does this by reflecting an electron beam off catalyst crystal surfaces. The amount of energy absorbed is related to the strength of the chemical bond. Microprocessors, tiny built-in computers, can now precisely regulate many fuel combustion factors and so reduce exhaust emissions. Sensors in the exhaust and engine allow the microprocessor to adjust the fuel-air mixture, so to maximize combustion and so minimize carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxide emissions. Future cars may employ several microprocessors to improve performance. The final test of any engineering effort is its impact on man. Here a test subject pedals in a controlled flow-through environment to learn what effects, if any, his body exhibits from suspected air pollutants. Once, stylists shaped tomorrow's cars largely as they chose. Now, engineers and automotive scientists set the limits on their designs. What will tomorrow's cars be like? Smaller, safer, lighter, made of new materials, more fuel efficient, but with fewer environmental impacts. Tomorrow's car, a vehicle for tomorrow's world. Science Screen Report has been presented by South Carolina Electric and Gas Company, the company that is providing for today's electric needs while planning ahead for the future.